From the beginning of history, wise men have differentiated between the edicts of some idiot ruler who was probably the last guy to win a war or popularity contest, and natural law. Natural law is the law of rights. The concept of a right is an incredibly simple concept that almost nobody cares to understand, not even Barack Obama. I think it should be a right for every American in a country as wealthy as ours for us to have people who are going bankrupt because they can't pay their medical bills. A right is quite simply something which you already have. You have a right to your body, you have a right to your liberty, and you have a right to your property. If you have to ask somebody for a right, like a right to work, a right to safety, a right to a public education, healthcare isn't a right because somebody has to do something for you. A right is something where you are the only person that has to do it. There is a right to love, but there is certainly no right to have that love acknowledged by other people. There may be a right to work, but there is certainly not a right to be paid for that work. There is a right to your own education, but most governments today have turned this right into a justification for a complete inversion and irony. The right to one's own education simply calls for the right to be curious in whatever you find suitable to you, to have your own interests and own concerns, and be able to pursue them in a method suitable to you. In the public school system, the government says, in effect, you must not think about what concerns and interests you, but instead, what concerns and interests us. Natural law is the law of rights. It is simply what is reasonable. It exists independently of any ruler, legislature, policeman, or time. It exists without paper or ink. Natural law. Now you know it. Live by it.